Do you think love can be absolute? Could it stop at nothing? I think it'd be a very poor love if one could measure it. When I watch movies, I watch them through the lens of the characters and the lessons we can draw from their story, their character and behavior. The inspiration for this movie analysis came suddenly. It was as unstructured as the main character herself. I was not sure how do I want to introduce and analyze this character. And after watching the movie for the third time, I realized that Emmanuel is in fact teaching us about the chaotic and artistic nature of the feminine energy woman, unrestrained by any norms and structures, free and willing to let adventure lure her into the world of artistic pleasure. Emmanuel then invites us to the feminine world full of softness and vulnerability. Emmanuel is an art form and a world full of sensuality, pleasure and femininity described in pastel colors, a world where we feel more and speak less, an exploration of what love is and what boundaries it may touch before breaking them. Emmanuel is a adult drama film directed by Jazz Baking in 1974. The movie starts with Emmanuel traveling with her husband to Bangkok where she will undergo many new adventures and she will be a part of many new experiences. This movie is so artistically appealing. There are few philosophies shared by the characters and other than that, the movie flows in a very unstructured way. It is a world of all senses where not much is being spoken. This movie is about a feminine pleasure and the art of sensuality. As the main character Emmanuel portrays a beautiful siren-like feminine energy, something made me want to analyze her. I didn't know what it was until I watched the movie again, and I now know what makes her so alluring. Watching Emmanuel and trying to grasp this character, I realized that she is the most archetypical representation of the feminine energy. The energy that receives leans back, the energy that is the source of pleasure, the softness and the inner strength. Emmanuel is a person that radiates a magnetic energy, unrestrained by any structures and limiting ideas like an ocean with uneven shores. And in this video we will dive deeper into this character. And as always, let's not judge any of the characters and let's see what can we learn and what part of them we can take and embody ourselves. Point number one is playful and spontaneous. There is something a little naively innocent about Emmanuel. She wants to discover the world and keep getting new experiences and she lets others take her to new places and expose her to new ideas. Similarly to Marilyn Monroe, Emmanuel emanates the little girl from within and it makes, the, makes her very attractive. She leans on the structure the masculine energy provides her with. Other than that, Emmanuel seems to be a representation of an artistic chaos. And I think it is somehow beautiful to see that childlike wonder and hunger for exploration and adventure. She approaches every experience with curiosity, willing to listen to people's perspectives and ideas. She is a very open and curious character, a perceiving one rather than judgmental. And it really seems that Emmanuel is giving people the space to be themselves, with no judgment and desire to be something else. She listens rather than, rather than speaks and asks questions. And it is the childlike wonder that makes us see this character as very youthful and approaching life with a very fresh and unstructured mind. Point number two is art. Emmanuel is a living form of art. She does engage all her senses. She lives in pleasure and for pleasure. We see her engaging in some photo shoot and enjoying some of her nude photos taken of her. The places she's in are a form of art. The colors, textures, and Emmanuel herself is the most unstructured and true chaotic energy there is. Like an art form not constrained by any containers. 
And similarly, like Marilyn Monroe, Emmanuel seems to have no structure to her. She is the embodiment of art. And it is the masculine energy in the movie that gives her the structure. She makes us feel like she lives for art and she herself is art. And this is clearly seen in the movie that the men in her life give her the structure and contain her in a way. But she herself is like an ocean. And I think this is a very beautiful energy to experience embodied in a person. It also seems that every object that she touches gives her a bit of pleasure and every moment brings a sense of fulfillment. She is appreciating the places she's in with all of her being. And I really like how much the senses are empathized in this movie. Not to mention the beautiful shots that make us appreciate the art surrounding her even more. Emmanuel is also the type of character that would stay in her room all day painting and letting herself be taken by the moment. The artistic and somewhat messy and unstructured personality. Point number three is peace and softness. All of the traits we speak about are the archetypical feminine traits. And I think that those make her feel be very irresistible. She seems to be an embodiment of the word pleasure and I thought about it. And similarly as Marilyn Monroe, she makes us feel like she lives for pleasure and she is the true embodiment and definition of this word. And I thought about it further and I think that in order to be this way, a woman must lose of her worries, all her problems. Like in the dance, the masculine energy takes care of the time and space so the follower can focus on her art form and giving and providing artistic pleasure to the masculine. The masculine can source pleasure from the feminine. Emmanuel was free and taken care of by the man in her life. And then she was able to tap into the purest form of femininity. She was in peace and she was providing pleasure with her energy and the way she was. And there is something so attractive about a person being in that peaceful energy energy without any triggers, anger, fear and so on. You really want to be around this person and take more of this peace that they exude. And the peace that they exude somehow fills you with that energy as well. Point number four is being the prize. Being the prize was a thing ingrained in her. It's like she was aware of her magnetism. It is that quiet confidence I often speak about on my channel. And in the movie, we see both men and women being so attracted to her. She was radiating with that sensual energy we women are exceptionally full of naturally. This is the siren energy. The Jessica Rabbit, but less obvious one. And she had men and women wanting to be with her, date her and spend time with her. And let's notice that she was never going forward with anything. She was leaning back, allowing people to come to her and propose her what they wanted. She dressed up, showed up as her best self, knowing the value she brings. Full of quiet confidence, she entered the room and immediately brought attention to her. And this, my ladies, is the art of energy that I keep trying to learn and analyze on my channel. 80% of our communication happens non-verbally. And it is the body language and our energy that reveals our insecurities, fears. By the way we appear and are, people can sense things true about us without even speaking to us. And I think that Emmanuel is the best embodiment of this energy. This beautiful and attractive energy wrapped in some beautiful clothes. Like a mine full of diamonds and gems waiting to be discovered. An energy trait definitely worth examining and embodying in ourselves. Point number five is vulnerability is strength. I once heard that masculine energy is strong on the outside and soft on the inside while the feminine energy is soft on the outside but strong on the inside. Emmanuel was free to cry in front of people and she would not have her emotions constri constrict in any way. She was allowing her thoughts and feelings run free and I like it about this character. Often speaking about love and not afraid to confess it to the people she loved. This is the beauty of being soft and vulnerable. 
Similarly to Marilyn Monroe, this trait made people and especially men want to take care of her. And I think that Emmanuel carried this trait so well and it truly made her magnetic. Point number six is embracing nudity. And this is another point that I spoke about in my Marilyn Monroe video as well. Emmanuel was not afraid and she gave impressions of loving her body however imperfect it might have been. It's like it didn't matter to her that she was showing her naked body and she was embracing it, jumping into the pool without any clothes on. And it only confirms how free and in tune with her own body this character was. Embracing nudity is the tribute to the sensuality in all of us and it is the art and tribute to our human life and our human bodies. And now on a final note, while I do not think this is wise or good to try to copy and be like Emmanuel or Marilyn Monroe as there is no one that we should be more than ourselves. However, I do think that it will only benefit us to take a look at different characters. We can be a masculine energy boss type of lady one day and then jump into the feminine softness, artistic chaos and unrestrained playfulness and softness. And with the characters we can learn that a different way or different level Level of being is possible and indeed we can also embody that. We can learn and dive deeper and try to see and discover if there are some inner hidden parts of us that need activation. And I similarly to Marilyn Monroe believe that Emmanuel had a beautiful, pure and very nice energy that we the viewers could experience through the screen. And I truly love the artistic side of this movie, the idea it tried to share with us and the overall very magnetic and alluring character of Emmanuel. And I hope you liked the video and let me know in the comments if you have watched Emmanuel and if you like this character.